All right, so we have been messing around with Prezi and uh, creating our own. Here's the mess that I made, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about a, kind of beyond the basics about how to share, um, how to do a couple other advanced things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the theme colors. Um, all you're going to do is going to go over here to colors, and you can go ahead and choose the theme. But then whatever that theme is, if you click on Theme Wizard, it'll take you to a way to change the background, uh, change the logo. Like let's say I want the background to be dark blue or purple. Then what you're going to do is going to click on Next. Oh, I'm sorry. Here is where um, you can replace the logo. If you want to, if you have a logo for your school, you can replace it with a, a picture file in here. I'm not going to do that right now though. If I click next, then I can do the title color. So if I want title one to be something a little bit stands out a little bit better, um, title two can be something a little bit uh, different. You can see you can change text, uh, the fonts. There's not a lot of different choices, but there is some choice here. And the body font, same way, change to a different color. And hit next and you can change the color of the frames as well and the arrows so here's a good spot to do some customization when you're done you click on done there's my new theme looks pretty cool another thing you can do in here is um, you can click on this meeting button this online presentation I've tried it a couple times it's still buggy it's a way to invite people to a presentation that you're giving online I don't recommend that right now um, there are different better ways to do that online presentations um, we're gonna avoid that but you do want to look at this invite to edit what it does is it gives you a link and you can copy that link and send it to people when they come to that link they will be able to um, edit the presentation and it does do it in real time so they will show up I have tested it it has worked pretty well and they can edit the Prezi along with you up to 10 people um, so that is a definitely a good thing to uh, be aware of is that meeting link right up here. Another thing is, I forgot to say this, but it always automatically saves. And so it'll automatically save up here whenever you uh, are doing a Prezi. Next thing, I'm going to hit exit and take you back to the main desktop here, dashboard. And I definitely want to show you this. Whenever you create a Prezi, you have to mark it up here. Right now, it's automatically marked as private. You can keep it private, or you can make it public so that you can have a link to share. And public can allow copy allows people to make a copy and reuse it to whatever you want. So now I've got this on allow copy. And now whenever people come to this link, um, they can copy it and they can share it however they want. In fact, if I click on share, there's another way to share it. If you just want to view it, you can send a link out to view. If you want to share editing rights, click on editing and copy that link and send it out. You can also embed a Prezi. And so here are the uh, different dimensions, width and height. Here's the code. And uh, let viewers pan and zoom freely. That means within the Prezi, they can zoom in freely. They can not follow your path that you set. They can do whatever they want. Or if you want to change it so they can just follow your path, click on here and then copy the code to the clipboard. So there's a couple of different ways to uh, share out. Another thing that's really helpful to know in here is this download button. If you create a Prezi and you're going to go do a presentation somewhere, I highly recommend you download a portable offline version. What this will do when I hit download is it will create a folder with the Prezi and all the files inside of it that you can take with you on a flash drive, wherever you're going to go present. The reason this is important is because I've been to places where I presented and the Wi-Fi hasn't been working or something has gone wrong with the internet and you don't want to rely on an internet presentation um, especially if it's somewhere where the internet is not stable so if you export it offline then you can take it with you and you can have it with you whether or not their internet is working so that's a good option right there to click to download alright uh, one last thing I want to show you is how to uh, copy others I'm going to go over here to explore which shows some of the featured ones they have. I'm going to click on this one and hopefully it's one that they uh, allowed to copy. 
Yep, here it is. Now, whenever they do that make a copy in that sharing spot, all you do is click on it, and it will take their presentation, and it will make a copy of it right into your own Prezi's. So you can take it, take whatever you want from it, um, change it, update it, edit it, um, and do whatever you want with a copy. All right, so that's it for Prezi. Um, hope you enjoy the tool. Uh, it's a really neat thing. Students really get into this, and they can create some really amazing presentations in here. Thank mm -hmm. you.